Thank you, OBS. Okay, OBS was being dumb. And for some reason, um, sometimes it'll pick up the microphone straight away. And it was doing earlier. And it stopped, it stopped accepting it. I, I don't know why. I've got no idea why. But thank you very much for letting me know. Hello, Ben. Hello, Brian. Madonna. Hello, Pancake Sparkle. Hello, Ms. Love. Howdy, howdy. Right. Uh, so we were Colonel Panic from scratch. I love that. Right. <clears throat> we had just finished with CMake to do lib archive. So. Org. BLFS. Read online. 12 W um E Nice lib X face 4 UI and then we need to do GTK three plus on. C make for lib archive right hang on so GTK four lib no Oh, <clears throat> where were we? Oh, I've got to try and remember now because according to my notes, uh, I'm apparently having a dumb. As far as you make to do, right? Okay, there we go. Oh, I remember. Yeah, I remember where I got now. Oh. Right, okay. Okay, so we got into CMake, so CD sources. Thank you. That was weird. And then CD CMake. Okay, so we've done CMake. Well, actually, we need to do CMake if I remember correctly. All right, so for CMake, uh, it's curl, lib archive, and lib archive three point. We did curl, and now we need to do lib archive three point seven point one. Did I do lib XML? Oh, well, I can't remember if I did lib XML now. Uh, Okay. Right, so that's good. So Yes, we're doing lib archive them. Well, if I didn't, we are doing it again. If I've already done it, we're doing it again now, I guess. So, time for the next video. Uh, XML2. No, I did do it because it's libxml2-2. So, we did that. LZO. Did we do LZO? Uh, no, because it's got a Oberhuma um, download link. And I don't think I have actually got that. Uh, LZ.
This is annoying. Where is it? Where where are you from, OBS? Where are you getting what? <sighs> right. LZO. So, uh, where are we at the minute? We are inside. Okay, so inside LZO. So, dot slash uh, configure prefix equal uh prefix equal slash user backslash table shared backslash table static backslash doc directory equal slash user share doc lz o dash two point one o and and I'm make my okay. Hopefully this will go through without any hassle. Whilst we wait, we must hydrate. Uh, good. That took barely any time at all. So <clears throat> that is LZO done. Now time make install. Leave the directory. Remove the directory. Uh, 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 reason why we're doing LZO is because oh, LZO is compression. Oh, we're talking about com documentation for once I then eventually spin it out if I make a respin of it. Right. <clears throat> do I have nettle? I do not have nettle. So W get H um FTP. On slash slash fdp dot gnu dot org slash gnu slash nettle slash nettle dash three point nine point one dot ta dot gz is ftm mm. why did i type ftl there we go so <clears throat> ta hyphen xvf nettle cd nettle Right. <clears throat> oh, I'm going to do a respin of it. I uh, just I got spark last day. Yeah, good question. Oof, my head. Uh, okay, so clear that. We want to do slash configure. Help I can spell configure correctly. Yeah, I probably did anyway. So prefix uh, equal slash user disable dis a able static there we go and and i make motion city um <clears throat> it probably would make sense to do a package manager at this point considering the amount of hassle i've been having and uh, I, I am a forgetful person sometimes so it would make sense to do it at some point make install and and ch mod hyphen v 755, 755 slash user lib slash lib hogweed yes or no uh, I'm, i needed to make sure that was correct myself hogweed comma nettle brace dot so uh, and and install hyphen b hyphen m 755 hyphen d slash user slash yeah doc nettle dash 3.9.1 and and install hyphen v hyphen m 644 nettle dot html comma pdf early brace slash user slash share yeah, slash doc slash nettle dash 3.9.1 good oh half lot <coughs> sorry let me actually make a note of no i didn't want that one ow my eyes uh, i'll make a note of that actually so wrong, again wrong window nick catch up catch up with yourself though 
that one. Uh, venom. There we go. <coughs> right, that is <coughs> nettle done. Leave the directory, remove the directory. Right, now that we've done nettle, um, we need to go back to uh, lib uv. Oh, I need to do lib uv now that we've done nettle. So lib uv, oh, that's quick and easy. Uh, w get https colon slash slash uh, dist lib uh, uv dot org slash dist slash v 1.446.0 uh slash lib uv dash v one point or six dot zero dot tad she said so i have an xbf lib uv cd lib uv okay what do i need to do the sh or gen command below fails if the ac local environment variable is sets set as specified in xlog 7 if it is used AL, acl local ac local needs to be unset this package and then well we'll find out in a moment so sh uh autogen dot sh uh, and and that slash configure configure i should know this one by heart by now configure equals configure prefix equals slash user disable static and and i'm a mate minus 30. okay nothing's failing that's good okay it worked that's much better so i make this call very nice Right, <clears throat> now that we've done this, leave the directory, remove the directory, what was this? It was libuv. Right, now that we've done libuv, we now need to do uh, nghttp2. And we've already got stuff that we need, which is good. So wget https console slash github.com slash nghttp2 slash nghttp2 slash releases slash download slash um, releases slash download slash b 1.55.1 slash nghttp2 slash or two dash 1.55.1 dot uh, dot like said hello big goggle how you doing my friend uh peter might have done if he is here it uh, sounds like something peter has done so tar hyphen xvf ng http2 oh, it's good yeah, it's good it's good you're good welcome along my friend the so cd ng http2 clear the screen right <clears throat> how long are the instructions okay i can live with that so dot slash configure let's see if we can remember how to do this um i can't never mind uh, so it's prefix equals slash user backslash disable static backslash uh enable lib only backslash yep then it's doc equals slash user user yeah doc ng http2 dash 1.55.1 and and time time make minus 30. okay okay oh good right i make install. Leave the directory, remove the directory. Okay. Good news. So we can now go back to CMake. 
Because if you remember last time, we had so many issues with actually getting CMAC done, because it says recommended curl libarchive libuv and nghttp2, except it's not recommended, it is required. Hmm. Uh, that's a good point. I need to go back to my GitHub and see if that script is still there. Uh, test repository, and last week, I might have just called it C. Is that the correct one? Uh, bootstrap prefix. Okay, so that is the right one. Okay, so, oh god. <clears throat> right. Clear. Uh, okay, so dot slash C. What do you mean lib, lib archive is not found? Did I not install lib archive? Ah, evidently I did not. Well done. Ah, okay, so. Uh, w get https colon slash slash github dot com slash lib a r c h c h i v e slash b a r c h i v e slash releases slash releases slash Download v three point seven point one slash lib arc dash three point seven point one dot star dot set r hyphen xvf lib archive cd lib archive. That's why I'm having issues because I didn't download the thing. So dot slash con figure prefix. Oh, hang on. Prefix equals slash user disable static and and time minute one thirty. At the top of the screen? No, and I don't know why what's causing it. No matter what I do, it's just OBS having fun with me. I don't know why. And it, it only happens on Linux, and no matter how, what encoder what encoder settings I change, it just does that. I think it might be the version of OBS just having fun. So unfortunately, um, I can't change it, and I wish I could. So CDC make clear. Dot slash C. Come on. Ha! Finally. Thank God. Oh, thank God. Thank God. It is actually, actually working. Thank God. Right, so, so far, so good. No, I, no, because I haven't changed this. I realised I haven't changed it because I literally just did copy-paste and haven't changed the, um, according to the uh, file I made, or GitHub, so I'll be able to just download the instructions. I did not change the fact that it's just make, so it's just making with one core. Eh, it'll be fine. We're gonna have a look at system one now whilst we whilst we have a sit. And um Hmm, that is not a hard working CPU. There's only one core that's pinned. I love that. Okay. That's a good point. What what are you doing temperature wise, CPU? Let's have a quick look, shall we? New tab. 
Um, that is. What are you doing, sound temperature wise? Let's try that. Go. Oh, let's try that again. Uh, it is doing 58.7 degrees Celsius. That's not bad. At least it isn't showing the fact it's doing 6 degrees Celsius. Because, um. Yeah, that was funny. I got no idea why I did that. At one time, it's like, oh, I'm running at six degrees Celsius. He's like, no, I promise you, you're not running at six degrees Celsius. Please just stop telling me I'm running at six degrees Celsius. I'm not. Right. So we, this is CMake. We needed to do CMake. I can't remember what we needed to do CMake for. We needed to do, we needed to do CMake for. I can't remember actually. Right, hang on. XFCE. Xbase Desktop. So it is, I'm guessing it's for. Not for that. <laughs> Either I need to do LN2 cooling or I need to stick that thing outside in freezing temperatures. Why exactly am I making CMake? Why do I need to do C? I can't remember why I, why I needed to do CMake now. Go as far as to make CMake need to do lib archive. Oh, okay. Um. Where is lib archive? Um, I do not know where the archive is. Ah. Uh, well, I needed to do CMake for libjpeg turbo. Oh, yeah, because I'm doing GTK plus three, because I did XConf, because that required lib, lib XOS4 util, which requires glib, um, which requires... Uh, lib XL, uh, lib XSLT and PCRE2, which I've already done. So I need to do lib XFace4 util. Hang on, I need to find the one that specifically requires CMake. Okay, so it's lib JPEG Turbo. Right. Okay, so this is going to take a little bit longer because I've realized I haven't changed the optimization settings. However, with this being the way it is, hopefully it'll all be fine. Because all I need to do for this is let it run. And then we've done CMake because CMake requires curl, libarchive, libuv, ngHttp2, which is why I had that done. Right, okay, so libjpeg turbo. I need to make sure I've actually got that at clone and that I've actually got that package I'm oh, sorry but so far so good uh, yeah, yeah. the things that we do to make our own stuff totally not torturing ourselves it's fine it'll be fine don't worry nothing could possibly go wrong I promise I promise nothing could go wrong. <coughs> except maybe... <coughs> except... <coughs> my lungs going... No. Except my lungs giving out on me, everything else will be fine. But we need to do libjpeg turbo, and then... Once we've done libjpeg turbo, we need to do libpng, and then shared my info for libpng... We need to do nothing else, and then for share mime, shared mime info, we've already done glib2 and XML, lib xml2, so we just need to libjpeg turbo. Okay, we're actually getting through this at some pace. We're actually moving onwards. Um, I do know that there is a couple packages which do recommend having others available, having other things as... Well, yeah, that too. 
but it also happened when like here's the thing i had that graphics card in with the old install of debian with the old with the with the ubuntu install and then since i moved away from ubuntu the flickering started happening so i don't know um whether it's an implementation of Nuvo drivers or what, I don't know, but it sh it shouldn't be happening. It shouldn't be happening. But it is, and I don't know why. But we all live with it. I don't. I really. I think. I think it might just be either the implementation of Nvidia Nuvo drivers, or. Or it's OBS. Because I cannot install the Linux drivers, like the Linux proprietary drivers from NVIDIA, because it's the, the X server is running, and I've got to do that from some other way, and I can't... Yeah, it doesn't like the fact there's an X server running, so I'm assuming I'm going to have to run... Uh, run it from behind a raw terminal instead of an X server. Oh, God, this is finally getting through. I wouldn't say it's a crap card. It's actually it's actually helped a lot with everything else that I do. For example, when I use it for rendering video, it flies through. It's just no hassles at all. It helps with the streaming. It helps with this. When, once, when I have a working OBS, it's fine. Like, I can't use the encoders on the card because, again, the drivers, but... It's the drivers. And when it was on Ubuntu, I didn't have these issues. Debian, yeah. Oh, I'm aware. I, I know. I like to play Devil's Advocate a lot. It's a really fucking good card. Yeah, I, I, I am very much a Devil's Advocate kind of guy. Oh, let's make sure I don't unplug them. But no, it's 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 a pretty damn good card. And it's, it's literally, it's just the fact that I can't install the proprietary drivers. And also uh, OBS or Debian or a combination of two. I don't know. I haven't yet found that out. But uh, I'm not going to be messing around with it too hard. But I have works. So I'm probably just going to have to change like the versions of like Linux around. I just probably just change the version of OBS. Really, I think whilst thinking about it, that's probably just going to help it. Right. That's done. So. So to do lib xface4 UI, I need to do GTK3+. Plus. And to do GTK3+, plus, I need to do libjpeg turbo, which requires CMake. Which is what I'm doing now. Which now means I'm going to do libjpeg turbo. And um, to save me from absolutely butchering myself, we are going to make a new downloadable file. Create file, bada bing, and and I make j30, and uh, I'm just going to call it turbo, and then. Right, um, lib jpeg turbo dash 3.0.0. Commit changes. Right, we're finally done with CMic, we just need to install it. Oh, yeah, that's, that's the mother, so it's uh, time I can install. Come on, keep, keep doing that. Yes, good. Right, leave the directory, remove the directory. Goodbye, CMake, never again. <laughs> right. So I now need to do libjpeg turbo. So, r-xvf, and it's, this is going to be uh, lib Okay, so I don't have that. Right, so 
with wget http as colon slash, slash downloads dot sourceforge dot net slash lib jpeg turbo slash lib jpeg turbo dash 3.0.0.tar.gz Come on. Oh. Okay, thank God. Why are you downloading so slow? Uh, I want to believe that's a server side connection. Uh, it's R hyphen XVF uh, lib jpeg turbo. CD lib jpeg turbo. Right, so uh, w get http s colon slash slash github raw github user content raw github raw dot github user contents hello welcome welcome on Angry Dutchman in the house. Very nice. Oh, how did that go? This is com. I did see some of the pictures. It does look nice. Um, one. Test. Main. Turbo. Very fub. Very good. Yeah, so. DH mod plus X. Turbo. SH. Right. And then if we just give this a quick count turbo. Good. So, um, dot slash turbo. Ooh, good choice. Good choice of keyboard, man. Very good choice, man. Honestly, it doesn't matter. The fact you've got yourself a uh, Model M. That's manufactured in 84. Oof. God damn, good choice. Time to install. Oh no. Oh no. What's going on? Ah, this is annoying. So, MV Turbo to slash build. Okay, never do time. Bada bing. Good. Oh, that's good then. It's got, it's good, it's got, uh, th 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 words. Much word may, much word may make sense. I'll do. Right. Done lib turbo, now we need to do lib PNG. So tar or well, rm hyphen r lib jpeg. So 
tar hyphen xvf https com slash slash downloads dot source forge dot net slash lib png slash lib png dash one point six point four zero dot tar dot gz next said even still it's a pretty damn old keyboard the fact you got it in what what I'm going to assume is oh, uh, manufactured in the United Kingdom. That's a pretty rare sight to see, considering IBM is an American company. Oh, why did that fail? That looked pretty damn nice. You made a good choice, but made in first off, made in the United Kingdom for an American company is a pretty damn good. It's pretty damn good. Looks very nice. Anyway, why does this fail? HTTP as colon slash slash downloads dot source. Forge dot net slash lib png slash lib png dash one point six point four zero dot star dot xz. I want to do home Okay, so apparently I put it in the wrong way around. Pa pancake sparkle. Pancake. Uh, apparently I did. <laughs> that's, that's about right. I'll have an XPF for the PNG. Yeah, I did notice that, Peter. You got lucky with that. Oh, yeah, that's right. I need to back down one. Tar hyphen xvf https colon slash slash downloads dot source forge dot net slash source forge slash lib png hyphen a png slash lib png dash one point dash one point six point three nine dash a png dot patch dot gz Mm. You mean kind of like that? Let me try this again. Oh, that's why, because I'm an idiot and typed, uh, I told it to tar a web address. <laughs> the fact that it still tried and it still said it couldn't connect. <laughs> <coughs> oh, and I broke the internet again. You're just casually downloading libpng uh, lib patch file at 1.3 gigabytes a second. <laughs> yes, I, when I break things, I break things in a spectacular fashion. 1.3 gigabytes per second. Oh, I love that. I, I love when I do that. It's just hilarious. Uh, it's hilarious. I love it. Right. So, gzip dash cd slash lib pin v three nine dot patch dot gz pipe pipe Patch minus P1. Patching successful. Good. So dot slash configure hyphen hyphen prefix equals slash user. Hey, yeah, got it right. Uh, disable, disable static. And then it's time to make plus. Uh, you see, when I break things, Pancake Sparkle, I break things in a absolutely spectacular fashion. Peter, those keyboards look absolutely bloody glorious. 
I am jealous. I'm jealous. Those look pretty damn nice. And we did the making. Yep. So. <coughs> so. Uh, time. Make. Install. And. And. Make directory. Hyphen V. Slash. User. Share. Doc. Lib. PNG. Dash one. One. Point. 6.40 and and copy uh, verbose read me read me lib png man dot manual dot txt slash user slash user share doc lib png Dash 1.6.40. Bada bing. Good. That's done. So now that we've done that, we now need to do shared MIME info. So, PWD, leave the directory, remove the directory, download the next one. Wait, so, title. Let's not try and tar a bloody package, shall we? Let's try this again. W get https kind of slash slash uh, gitlab dot free desktop dot org slash xdg slash shared mime info slash that's a dash ARCHIV slash 2.2 slash good my info this is for email stuff if I remember, if I remember correctly dash 2.2.tar.bz I, I like how the download bar goes across as, as the name of the file just moves and that's wonderful to look at I love it we're not downloading the test suite no way Right, so uh, tar hyphen xvf shared mime info shared mime info clear tar hyphen xf dot slash um, if you wish to run the test suite, no, I do not. So uh, make directory build and then cv build. Good. So, uh, Mason setup hyphen prefix equals slash user hyphen hyphen build type equals release hyphen d update mime mime not meme mime d b equals true. Dot dot and and ninja right no, i just remember i just had to try and remember that it's been a while since i've actually had actually had a look at a mime file pwd okay so that from what i could tell went in with that hassle so we just want to do time ninja install if not leaving work Oh, it actually does give a time. Okay, well, I remember that one for the future. Clip. PWD. Leave the directory. Remove the directory. On to the next one. <coughs> so, now we've done shared mime info, we can now go back from... Uh, we can now go backwards. No, we can't. Because we now need to do... We now need to do GDK picks buff. Oh, my God. W get FTP kind of slash FTP dot ACC dot umu SE slash pub gnome sources GDK 
iPhone Pix buff. Slash 2.42 slash GDK iPhone Pix buff dash 2.42.10. Tired, like I said. Okay, good. Tar hyphen XBF GD 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 K picks buff CD GD K picks buff. Right. Clear. Yeah, this one looks like it's going to be an absolute pain in the derriere. There are also optional ones I should that I pro should probably uh, consider doing, such as runtime dependency needed for loading XPM, generate documentation, AVIF, as well as WebP images. So yeah, we should do the optional. Um, this is not optional. They are need they need them to be done if I'm actually going to load some of the kind of important stuff myself no not open link in new window open link in new tab god the amount of work that guys into making such things god damn right back out pwd okay so <sighs> w get ftp colon slash slash ftp dot acc dot umu dot se slash Pub slash gnome slash sources slash gdk x buff dash xlib slash 2.40 slash gdk hyphen x buff hyphen xlib hyphen 2.40.2 dots tar dot Okay, tar hyphen xbf gdk uh, xlib cd gdk xlib. Right. So we're going to need to do make directory build cd build uh, mason setup hyphen hyphen pre fix equals slash user dot dot and and uh, time. Ninja. So I do need to. I need to do pix buff first, then. I. We're going to do pix buff first. Pigs buff. <coughs> so clip, put the directory, CD build. Oh. Okay, never mind. I make directory build, CD build. Okay, good. Mason setup dot dots and then backslash prefix uh, equals slash user backslash uh, build type equals release backslash and wrap mode equals no fallback. And and I'm ninja. The reason why I don't need to do <sighs> this is another one of those optional packages. Runtime dependency GI doc gen found no. Issue being is on the page for 
GDK picks buff, which is this, because if we do print working directory, GDK picks buff, GI docgen is marked as a optional. This is annoying. Ah, oh, right. Hello, Rahman. How are we doing? I've actually, I've absolutely butchered your name. I'm sorry. Right. To do di to do gi doc gen module, I need markdown, um, pigments, and typography. For we'll start with. Typography. To do typography, I need smarty pants. For smarty pants, I don't need anything. Okay, good. We can start. <laughs> we can start with smarty pants. Oh my god! Right. Leave the directory. Tart. W get http s slash slash github dot com slash Leo Hemstead slash smarty pants dot pi slash archive chlb slash v two point zero point one slash smarty pants dash two point zero point one dot tar dot gz tar hyphen xvf smarty pants it is smarty pants Tip three wheel F W dist no no build isolation no steps rent working directory okay so so successfully built so tip three install no index find links dist no cache no user smarty pants okay now that we've done smarty pants um i now need to do typography so where are we now so we need to leave the directory uh, Remove. Hang on. That extracts into a tarball, doesn't it? A tarball extracts into a smart. Okay, so. Uh, RM hyphen R smarty. Pants. Do you want to go from smarty pants to type O Griffey, which requires so. Get HTTPS. HTTPS colon slash slash. Files dot. Python hosted dot org slash packages source t typo g r i f y slash typo g r i f y dash two point zero point seven dot target gz uh, uh, 160 megabytes per second don't mind if i do tar hyphen xvf Typo if CD typography, right? <clears throat> Pip three, Pip three wheel hyphen W dist no build isolation, no depths. PWD. Well, it said um, 117 MBS. So I'm absolutely, I'm absolutely sure. <laughs> Start stress. Doing the cross by so. Pip three wheel hyphen W dist no build isolation no depths. AWD.
Oh, dollar sign PWD. I'm a bloody idiot. No, and. That would help. Uh, pip3 install. No. Index. Hyphen, hyphen. No. Oh, find links. Uh, dist. No. Ashter. No. User. I. T. Y. T. O. G. R. I. F. Y. No. User. Try that again. The reason why I keep doing that is because I'm used to typing U S R instead of U S E R. Because. Stuck right, right. So we need to do pigments. So leave the directory, remove the directory, TYP out. So we get https com slash slash um files dot python hosted dot org slash packages slash source slash capital P slash P Y G M E N T S slash E capital P Y G M E N T S dash two point one six point one dot tar dot gz. Yeah, C M B capital yeah. Fifty megabytes. Right, so tar hyphen XVF arguments. And then isn't that the exact same? It is. So, in theory, wheel, dist, no build, isolation, no depths. And then it's just going to be pip3 install, hyphen hyphen no, index, hyphen hyphen find, links, dist, no, cache. Uh, no user E M E N T S. I've done it again. I'm so used to typing USR instead of user. <laughs> I've done it twice in a row now, it's getting annoying. PWD, leave the directory, remove the directory. Pigments. Now that we've done pigments, we have. Markdown, which I need to do for GI Doctrine. Right, Markdown. So, r hyphen x w get https kind slash slash files dot python hosted dot org slash packages slash source slash capital m slash markdown slash markdown hyphen 3.4.1 dot tar dot gz tar hyphen xvf markdown cd markdown pip3 wheel w dist no build Isolation, no depths, PWD. Then it's pip3 install, no index, find links, dist, no cache directory, no user. There we go, I'll get it right. Mark it down. I could spell markdown correctly, wouldn't it? Huzzah! Right. Print directory, leave the directory, remove... Remove the directory. Right. Now I need to do GI doc gen. So. W get... W get HTTPS colon... Slash slash uh, files dot python 
posted.org slash packages slash source slash g slash gi doc gen slash gi doc gi hyphen doc gen doc gen dash 2023.1.tar.gz tar hyphen xvf gi doc gen cd gi doc gen pip3 wheel hyphen w dist no build isolation no steps pwd and then it's pip3 install no index find links dist no cache the no user gi dot user gi doc gen good uh, leave the directory remove the directory yeah don't worry about it we uh, we, we enjoy a good dad joke here right Let's do let's do GDK Pixbuff again, shall we? So C D G G D K Pixbuff two point four two dot one. Oh, okay. So C D build Mason setup dot dot backslash prefix equals slash user backslash build type equals release backslash uh, wrap mode equals no no fall back and 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 time ninja Uh. Please explain to me why I need RS2, man. That's two man. I need to do doc utils. Haven't I literally just done doc utils? In the directory. Uh, w get HTTP. Uh, hang on. Okay, so let me get https colon slash slash um files dot python python hosted dot org slash packages slash d or slash source slash d slash doc utils slash doc utils dash uh zero point two zero point one dot tar dot gz tar hyphen xvf doc utils cd doc utils pip3 wheel hyphen w dist no build isolation no depths Dollar sign PWD. 
So it's going to be pip pip3 install no index find links dist no cache directory no user dot utils and 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 f4 in slash user slash bin slash rst asterisk dot i semicolon do ln hyphen sf svf dollar sign base net dollar sign dollar sign bracket base name dollar sign f bracket slash user slash bin slash dollar sign bracket base name bracket dollar sign f space dot pi bracket done okay oh trust me <laughs> yeah see with with soldering you will absolutely you will absolutely want to get anger and then throw there there are those times you do not want to throw you may want to throw but you must not throw <coughs> right so to reduce the time needed for loading Python scripts, pip3 install will compile the scripts with an extension of py into bytecode and save the results in the PYC files in the directory pycache, but this package installs py scripts into user bin, so the bytecode for the files for them will be installed into user bin pycache, which is not allowed by FHS, still as root user, remove this directory. So rm-rfv slash user bin pycache ca C H E underscore underscore remove directory. Okay, good. Right, that's that done. We can now go. Leave the directory. Remove the directory. CD back into GDK. Pixbuff two point four two point one. Okay, CD build. Nice and set up dots backslash prefix equals slash user backslash build type equals release backslash wrap mode equals no for back and time engine please for the love of all things holy work this time around yes Ah, uh, thank God. We are going to build API documentation because I have I have to install GI Doc Gen. I have to do that to be able to actually install this. So we're going to do that. So said, you know what? We're just going to clone this. I can't be bothered with it. Um, GitHub test add file, create new file. It's going to be GDK Pix buff, GDK Pix. How it changes GDK Pix. I wish to see the raw. Where is I've just seen. Where has it just gone? Refresh. GDK picks. Okay, so show me the raw. So, probably get https colon slash slash raw dot github user content dot com slash Matthews dash one slash test main GDK picks. chmod plus x. X, you know, GDK, X, dot slash GDK, X. 
Problem solved. I know it's going to work because that's the exact way it should have been put in. That's now just going to be ninja install. Problem solved. Install the package on your system using the desktop method. An important file was not installed. I did not use the desktop method, so we're going to leave it alone. Okay. GDK Pix buff. I have now done GDK Pix buff, which now means I need to go back, do Pix buff xlib, lib avif. Pixpuff xlib, I've done docgen, um, avif, and <sighs> load up. Right. So, leave the directory, remove the directory, pixpuff 2.91. So, r hyphen xvf, um, bdk pixpuff xlib. Is a directory. Oh, never mind. So, uh, okay. It's going to be Nissan setup prefix equals slash user dot dot and and I'm ninja. <sighs> We're not going to do any of them then. We're not going to do them just yet. Right, now we've done GDK picks buff. We now need to do lib e proxy. So lib e proxy. Which requires Mesa. Mesa, what do you require? Mesa requires XOR blibs, uh, libdrm, and Mako. I've already done XOR blibs. What does uh, libdrm requires? XOR blibs. Okay. We can do that. What do you do? Tar hyphen XVF. HTTPS colon slash slot. No. W get. Um. Considering that we've not actually built the desktop yet, that would make sense. Anyway, I need to get libdrm. So, dri free desktop dot org slash libdrm slash libdrm hyphen two point four point one one five dot tar dot gz xz tar hyphen xv libdrm cd libdrm make directory build cd build this is going to be mason setup hyphen prefix equals dollar sign xorg prefix backslash hyphen build right equals release backslash enter I think D you all capital D U dev equals true backslash enter hyphen D B A L grind equals disabled backslash enter dot dot and and I'm ninja Uh, what do you mean prefix must be an absolute path? What? No. No, no, no. Not pulling this bullshit on me. I've already set the XORG prefix. I know that for a fact. Mislav suddenly became very English.
Most unbuild error prefix must value must be an absolute path. Because I never sourced. I never sourced. Yeah, that that is bloody nor croaking and blimey are all they are all correct uh terms of English shock. He is absolutely one hundred percent correct with doing that, Peter. X org. Oh, how do I set the XOR config again? XOR prefix. I forgot. Oh, I, oh that's how. Oh, he's bother. I think. I think this is going to be it. Nah, I probably won't. <laughs> yeah, that's accurate. That's accurate. Yes, that is accurate. But if you really, really want to do it, just call some, just say absolute and then a descriptor so for example for an insult you can call someone an absolute trouser leg you absolute car park you absolute bloody dishwasher could, could yeah yeah, yeah, that's that's accurate. Yeah, that is very accurate, Miss Love. Oh, right. I hope that's correct. Hang on, didn't I? Didn't I, didn't I, didn't I, didn't I, didn't I set, like, some XORG stuff? XORG file. Oh, I can't remember now. Introduction to XORG 7. Choose the installation prefix and set the XORG prefix variable with the following command with prefix prefix. Delboy and Rodney. Ah, uh, that's good. Ow. Okay, so what I need to do is export xorg prefix equals uh, slash user. One of this. So echo. xorg prefix. Then export xorg config uh, equals hyphen hyphen prefix equals xorg prefix hyphen hyphen sys conf the equals slash etc backslash uh, local stated IR equals slash use or slash var disable static. Okay. So 
Uh... Okay, good. That actually worked, Mr. Armad. Oh, how did I mess it up? Did I mess it up? Oh, fuck. Hang on, is that was I correct in doing that? Export, uh, it should only be 1F, yeah. Should only be 1F, I'm dumb. <laughs> right, what were we doing? Build type D. No, we weren't doing that one. We were doing Leap DRM. That's right. Hang on, I can easily check by just doing this. Don't supposed to be one F. Um, Leap DRM build. Okay. So, Ninja install. Right. Now that we have done Leap DRM, we now need to do Mesa, which requires. Libdarum and Mako. Mako is another Python 3 module. Leave the directory, remove the directory, leave the RM. W get HTTPS colon, colon slash slash colon slash slash files dot python hosted dot org slash packages slash source slash capital m slash maco slash maco dash 1.2.4 dot tar dot gz please tell me that's maco maco i'm dumb tar hyphen xvf maco CD macro pip three wheel hyphen w dist no build isolation no depths pwd pip three install no index find links dist no dist no Hash directory no USCR macro could have swore I typed macro instead of make right anyway so leave the directory remove the directory I do not wish to test right that's Mako done. Now we need to do Mesa. And there's an additional download. There's a patch. Not needed if you install the Mesa demos package. Right. We will do the Mesa demos package as well. No, we're not. Right. So. Where are we now? So W get HTTPS con slash slash. Hang on, W get FTP at FT colon slash slash FTP dot free desktop dot org slash pub slash Mesa slash Mesa dash two three point one point six dot tar dot XZ. Ten megabytes a second, that's not too bad. Right, so tar hyphen XVF Mesa. CD Mesa. CD Mesa. Right. We also need to get the patch file as well. Oh, there's kernel configuration I need to do. God damn it. Right, so, first things first, let's get this bloody patch file. Go back down one. So... Double get high GPS con slash slash. Uh, well, no. 
works from scratch.org slash patches slash blfs slash 12.0 slash mesa add underscore x demos dash two dot patch dash underscore that of being right okay before we carry on um i need to make kernel configuration which is going to require me to where am i currently now so cd linux Uh, so it's going to be make menu config. Right, okay. So device drivers, graphics drivers, directory rendering manager. Okay. So it's going to be device drivers, device drivers, graphic support. Where is graphic support? Graphic support. And then direct rendering manager that is that needs to be set to an M. M. Uh and it's gonna be what is it? Right, so for M for R three hundred or R six hundred DRM Radian. Oh god. Um Ooh, I've got to figure out how I'm gonna do this one. Huh? For R three hundred or R C six hundred DRM Radeon. Oh right, that's right. Where is for IO GPU on display? Yeah, yeah, DRM support for Nope. GRM support for Solomon? No. Oh, I've got to find the right one. Well, there's the boot up logo. So I'm, I'm not sure why the boot up logo is not working. Uh, right, okay. Um... I'm having a small issue. I think I have to enable all... Oh. I have to enable all the DRM stuff. And I mean... All... Of the DRM. Good thing that I have a bloody PowerPoint CPU. Uh, uh, virtual G app, no, virtual KMS experimental, DRM driver for, yes. No, 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 no. Nuvo for, for Nuvo and video cards. Yeah, so basically just to get them all working, I've got to just enable all the DRM stuff. Uh, for virtual GEM for DRM support for Solomon, yeah. Right. Uh, MATI Radeon, so ATI Radeon always enable. Uh, for AMD GPU, I need to go into AMD GPU and then it's what? ACP, well it's display engine configuration. And it's uh, AMD DC Enable Display Engine. Uh, which it's AMD DC Enable Display Engine, which is already enabled. Uh, for Nuvo cards, for i915 Crocus and Iris. Uh, Intel 800-900, that's enabled for SWR Rust. SWR Rust, where is SWR Rust? 
I'm assuming that's something to do with rasterization. For, for, yeah, we'll just enable that straight in the thing. Solomon, yeah. Uh, SVGA, which I, I mean, right, okay, so exit, exit, save, okay, written a config, exit, time, make minus J30. Before we do that, though, we have to grab Spotify. And as we all know, there is one particular song that I will play every single time. It is The Law, and I must listen to it. Uh, so I need to make sure that OBS can't hear. Which OBS can, can't hear the desktop, which is what I want. Make sure that the song is ready. There we go. Right, hopefully this doesn't break anything, because if it does, I'm going to cry. Right. <coughs> Thank you very much for the subscription. Thank you very much for the subscription. <laughs> Hopefully, this won't destroy anything. Right, this is considering this is the kernel recompiling. Uh, I've now got to go check documentation for this, don't I? Yep. Right, so. Actually, go up, up, home. And then it's Linux from scratch, read online. Linux 6 point dash make Mr. Profit make menu config, which we've done. And then do that. Modules install. And then just move everything into the correct places. There's all the driver stuff that I just enabled, there's all the DRM stuff. I just enabled all of it just to be on the safe side, prevent any issues in the future. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. Hopefully this doesn't break anything either, because if it does, I'm going to be extremely not the happy. Oh, there we go, it's moving again. I was worried I broke it there for a second considering the white just stopped. Put on my... There's the system map, good, which means done. 2 minutes 20 instead of 53 minutes. <laughs> mm, very nice. <laughs> right, okay, so time make module, time make modules install minus j30. Done. So copy hyphen IV arch slash x eighty six slash boot slash bz image space slash boot slash vm linux um lfs dash twelve point oh system d yes And then copy hyphen IV system.map to boot system map. Yep. Yes. Copy hyphen IV dot config slash boot config six four one two. Yes. Copy hyphen R documentation hyphen from capital T slash user share doc uh, Linux 6.4.2 done okay I'm gonna do chown 
Uh, zero. Zero. Yeah, that's fine. They're all owned by Root anyway. Okay, so ideally at this point, I might need to rewrite. I might need to restart. So leave Mesa uh, 23. So patch hyphen capital NP1 hyphen I dollar slash Mesa and next time I'll stop patch. So make directory build CD build Mason setup backslash enter prefix equals xorg prefix enter backslash build type equals release backslash uh can i put spotify and tell it to go away now that we've done that Right, okay, so we've done build type release. Now it needs to be uh, hyphen D platforms equals X11 dash Wayland. Getting somewhere now. And hyphen D gallium. G A L I U M. Gallium driver. Uh, drivers equals. Auto backslash. I've spell auto correctly, wouldn't it? Auto backslash. Open D Vulcan. Uh, Vulcan. Vulcan drivers equals nothing backslash. Open D Val grind equals disabled. Backslash and to uh, hyphen D uh, lib U N W I N D equals disabled disabled backslash dot dot and and time ninja okay it hasn't stopped <sighs> Lib DRM Intel not found. Gee. It's almost as if it doesn't tell me I need Lib DRM Intel. It doesn't. It actually doesn't tell me I need I need Lib DRM um Intel. Hang on, which is the one that I need for the intel? So I can get rid of the bloody option. Like, am I missing the point here? It can't continue forward because it needs libdrm intel. Thank you very much for coming along, Ms. Laugh. Be nice having you here, mate. And, uh... Thank you for continuing to be a channel member, mate. My heart and dizzy head. <laughs> Thank you. You sleep well, my friend. And uh, if you if you have to go to work tomorrow, I hope you have a good day. Right. Lib DRM two point four point one one zero needed because AMD GPU has the highest requirement. Runtime dependency. Lib DRM underscore Intel found no. Tried package config and CMake. The Gallium Drivers Nouveau. We're going to set the Gallium Drivers to Nouveau. Um, N O U V E A U. Hope that works. Built on dependency Wayland scan. <laughs> Pancake Sparkle, help me please. I don't know where I'm going wrong. 
Right, if we leave the Gallium... If we leave the Gallium driver alone, it's having an issue with libdrm intel. Where the bloody hell do I download libdrm? <laughs> libdrm intel... I found, yeah, that's the thing. I've just opened it back up and said, hey, look, you need to go back here. Uh, the issue is... I don't know. Because according to this, it can't, it can't, dependency libdrm underscore intel cannot be found, except I've already done it. So, uh, tar hyphen x for libdrm 2.4.11. It is. See how that says 115? That should be 116. Stuff you get, HTTPS, go slash, slash, DRI, DRI dot free desktop dot org slash libdrm slash libdrm dash 2.4.116 dot tar dot xz tar hyphen xvf libdrm 2.4 six dot tad exit cd libdrm six make directory build cd build Mason setup prefix equals xorg prefix backslash build build Type equals release. Hyphen D udev equals true. Hyphen D capital D VAL val grind equals disabled. And then dot dot and and time ninja. Okay, now if we do ninja install. Okay. Ready on Libdio Nuvo. I can only hope that's done up right. I'm not going to get rid of it for now. Uh, what I will do is I will actually leave it there. So what I need to do is I need to go back to Mesa. So CD uh, Mesa. And then. Do, do, do. Quite, not quite, not quite. Gallium drivers. Auto. CD build. libdrm underscore intel. Oh my god. So without libdrm underscore intel, there's nothing I can do. Uh, here's the thing. There's a load of stuff on packages.org, except not what I need. They're all RPMs. <sighs> yeah, I uh, tell you what, let's go find out.
Let's do let's do that again just to be like one hundred percent sure that I actually did because we know how how I can be a little bit forgetful sometimes. Is it directory cd libdrm six. I'll grind. Right, well, I did it, but I'm just doing it again just to be on the safe side. So, Time Ninja. Build failures. Right, so we want to do Mason setup wipe. Run again. Uh, time Ninja install. So it's done it. Done the thing. In the directory, cd mesa what a two point that we go now we won't have to do 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 bada bing gallium driver oh cd build let's find out Um, I have no way of, um, I've got no way of, uh, ls hyphen la, um, until, ls uh, ls, um, libdrm. Again, um, CD uh, sources with DRM six. Right, so Mason setup hyphen hyphen. Three fix equals uh all sign x org three fix backslash enter f hyphen build type equals release backslash enter hyphen capital D U dev equals true equals true backslash enter hyphen d intel equals true backslash enter hyphen d valgrind equals disabled backslash enter dot dot and and ninja time or time ninja directory already configured mason setup wipe Okay, now ninja install. Where are we now? CD Mesa. CD Mesa. Actually, yeah, let's do that. So CD. CD slash user lib ls um lib drm intel screw it okay 
Right. Okay. It is gallium. Gallium, gallium, gallium. Cat, Mason logs, Mason log with TXT. Called for bin package config mod version libdrm. Libdrm was not found in the package search package config search for package package. You should add the directory containing libdrm.pc to the package com. Config mod version libdrm underscore intel. Was not the purpose. Acquired by virtual world, not found. What? Right. The issue with this, it installs li installing lib libdrm should install libdrm underscore intel dot so, which is what I need. Except it's not. Where are we? We're in Mesa. We let's go back to DRM. CD lib DRM. One one six. Okay, so I don't know if I can R build. Make directory build. CD build. Mason setup. This is for libdrm. Okay. Nice little setup. Brief. And before we do that, we want to echo. Xorg prefix. Which is user. Okay. So. Nice on setup. Hyphen hyphen prefix equals xorg. I'll sign xorg prefix backslash enter hyphen hyphen build type equals release backslash enter hyphen du dev equals true backslash enter hyphen d capital d val grind equals disabled Backslash enter dot dot and and ninja. Right. LibDRM shared object AMD GPU Mesa Nuvo Radeon tests. I hate to say it. Where the hell is the Intel one? Oh, 
hyphen D Intel equals true. Mason setup wipe. Um, where's the Intel stuff? Hang on. AMD, Nuvo, Mason Private. Installing sources to user share libdrm, user lib libdrm, nouveau. Right, so. cd slash user slash lib. Okay. Uh, crap. Um, I'm having to hope I'm getting that right. Because I've got no idea how to use grep. Okay. Why is this taking an age? Ah, that's annoying. Why are you telling? Grep hyphen X lib DRM underscore Intel dot Intel. Why are you searching everything? And that's not going to give me an answer. Rep hyphen L Intel. Right. Lib there. It's not. It's not installing. It's not making or installing uh, libdrm intel. That's the issue. So according to this, libdrm is not actually giving me libdrm intel, which I need for Mesa, but I can't do that. I, and that's the thing, I've already got Xorg libraries installed. Because a lot of this stuff wouldn't have even installed without Xorg libraries, which I know for a fact I have already done, because we did that last time around, because I can tell you the exact bloody file it was. It's GitHub, it's... Because it's this really long one. It's, um... It's this. That's how I know I've done it. libdrm has new intel folder what uh libdrm so2 nuvo 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 ready on ready on ready on md 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 drm so drm so drm so oh right okay
Okay, so I looked at our intel. Well, intel. Well, it's all here. <sighs> I hate this. Radeon MD Nuvo I R I nine one five may require firmware. Select the config DRM Radeon, or as. Selecting the config DRM radio on a config DRM AMD GPU as why it's not recommended if it is is recommended. Mm. Uh, mm. Right. Here's what we're going to do. Nice and set up. Backslash. Refix equals dollar sign xorg refix. Hopefully, you're done with the uh, soldering, by the way, Peter. Let's hope it works. Um, I'm going to build type equals release backslash hyphen hyphen d platforms equals x11 wayland backslash wrong platforms wayland Wayland. Want to do yeah platform uh, hyphen D Intel equals yes equals true backslash hyphen D gallium drivers gallium drivers equals auto backslash hyphen D Vulcan drivers equals backslash hyphen D val grind equals disabled backslash enter hyphen D lib U N W I N D unwind equals Disabled backslash dot dot and and ninja D platforms X11 Wayland. What unrecognized arguments? What do you mean unrecognized? Fuck okay. it. Test Mesa Pretty file Mesa Hyphen D Intel equals true Backslash Comet changes What changes? Dub WD RM hyphen R build the make directory build CD build 
w get https colon slash slash raw dot github user content dot com slash nick matthews dash one slash test slash main slash myself Mesa at Mesa. Okay. Okay. It mod plus X Mesa dot slash Mesa. Value true for any type string or combo. Uh, a enable support for Intel is not one of the choices. Possible choices enabled, disabled. Vim, nice. Uh, let's just set that to auto. What do you mean, unknown options? Gallium drivers live on one. <laughs> That's the correct fucking options. You know what it probably is? Let's try it this way around, shall we? B Intel equals enabled backslash What do you mean unknown options gallium <laughs> It's correct Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh. Right. No. Hang on. Lib two point four point. <laughs> Right. I don't know what I've got to do. I hate it, but I don't know what I've got to do. DRI dot desktop dot free desktop dot org slash lib DRM slash lib DRM dash two point four point 
one one zero. Dot tar dot exe. Tar hyphen xp of lib drm two point one one zero. Dot tar dot x cd lib drm zero. So make the directory build cd build. Mason setup hyphen hyphen prefix equals dollar sign xorg prefix backslash hyphen hyphen build type equals release backslash hyphen d u dev equals true backslash hyphen d file grind equals disabled backslash dot dot add and I'm ninja yeah it's, it has prex not prefix I'll grind false. Runtime dependency PI PCI access. Oh, <laughs> we're just going to fucking suck at this point. Uh, yeah. Oh, my God. God, I did. I just had an incredibly dumb idea. Looked it right, okay. Right, that goes all the way up to right. Actually, take, let's have a look at this fucking file, shall we? Live DRM. Right. Intel. So that's all. That is all correct. Yeah, I was, I was probably thinking Axel libraries. I was looking at it as well. So, I know I've already done libxcb and, and font config. So, where are we? Leave the directory. Remove, we're not going to remove. Well, actually, we are going to remove that one. Arm. Lib drm one zero. Uh, hyphen xvf xorg
How did I do this? I need to make a new file. Um. First, it's down. Oh, hang on. What? Rip. To the XORG. What I need to do is because I've got that on the GitHub. It's XORG file. And what I need to do is w get https colon colon slash slash raw dot github user content dot com slash slash one slash test main xorg file xorg libraries what i now need to do is Uh, no, it's things not actually installing properly that are actually there. That's the issues we've been having. Right, so make directory. Oh, I will take your word for it, though. Make directory lib and and cd lib and and grep hyphen v apostrophe delta hash. Apostrophe. Ash. Apostrophe. Dot dot slash. Lib hyphen seven dot md five. Pipe. Orc. Apostrophe. Brace. Print. Dollar sign. Dollar sign two. Curly brace. Apostrophe space. Or, uh, pipe w get i hyphen i hyphen hyphen c backslash hyphen capital v https con slash slash www dot x dot org slash pub slash i n d i v i d u a l slash lib slash and and md5 sum uh, hyphen c dot slash lib hyphen 7 dot md5 what do you mean there's no such thing as md5 Except that's the thing, it's already on the GitHub. What fucking file is that? Can somebody please tell me what the fuck file is that? And tell me why the fuck it can't see it? Right. Oh, yeah.
Okay. That's the thing, it's already there. It's already there. That's the thing, it's asking for that particular file. Oh, the do right, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. Oh, I see what you mean now. Let's see, sort of profile. Get HTTPS. Dollar slash slash. Raw dot github user content dot com slash new Matthews dash one slash test main x ch mod plus x x dot slash x That's not the point. That's not the point, you mongrel. It's working. Yay. Uh, I'd have get that shift key replaced at some point in a moment. Okay. Everything is there. Good. Just that one. Everything is still there. Good. So, as root bracket brace, if square bracket space dollar sign e u i d equals zero square bracket semicolon, then dollar sign asterisk enter. Elif curly bracket, square bracket. Uh, I know, but I'm just I'm doing what it recommends. I'm doing what it's telling me to, so as to eliminate potential uh, issues. Uh, user bin pseudo space square bracket semicolon then pseudo dollar sign that else su Else, su hyphen c backslash dollar sign 
well, dollar sign at backslash that by that export hyphen f as root. Bash hyphen E. And then which one's that? The X install, isn't it? Right, so um What I want to do is I want to quickly just do w get http com slash slash raw dot github user content dot com slash Matthew slash one slash test slash main slash what is it called next install right bash what chmod plus x right bash hyphen e dot slash x install This is the second time we've done this. <sighs> Come on. There's Libex 11. How far down the list is it? Libex 11. I can't tell. Right. Oh, Lord. Things I do, eh? The bloody things I do. Oh, come on. Hopefully, and, and I do mean hopefully, this shouldn't take too long at all. Oh. Right, because here's the thing, this will stop and it will chuck me out of the shell if there is an error, which is the good thing about doing this this way. Uh, this is a subshell that will exit upon an error. So if there's an error, it's going to chuck me out of the shell, and we'll be able to tell. Uh, let's hope there isn't an error. I also might change that font, the console font, at some point in time. Come on. Come on. Come on. I've got no, there's free type bitmap. I've got no idea which one it's doing. XOR, XORG XLIB.
Uh, X Rando, okay. Oh, it's all three quarters of the way through. <laughs> Sorry, it's over two thirds, not over three quarters. If you're enjoying the talk, maybe consider supporting me on buymeacoffee.com or uh, consider. Um, consider becoming a channel member where you can get um, special account, you can get special access to uh, stuff. Forgot to turn that on. I'm still in the shell. Lib X Shem Fence. That's the last one. That's done properly this time round. Oh, thank God. Right, so, back to, back to Mesa. Yeah, it is back to Mesa, isn't it? Alright, so, PWD. DD Mesa. 23, right. Right, so. Mason was set up. I don't know from prefix. Good idea, actually. CD lib DRM 116. Right, lib DRM. Right, so make directory build, cd build, mason setup hyphen hyphen prefix equals dollar sign, xorg prefix backslash enter, build type equals release backslash enter hyphen dev udev equals true backslash enter hyphen d val grind equals disabled equals disabled enter dot dot and and enter okay enter install loop the rm intel oh like fuck. Lib DRM Intel. Yes. Thank fuck. Leave the directory. <laughs> DD Mesa. Right. DD build. Back to Mesa. Ah. Mason setup wipe. Okay. Um, Mason setup backslash dot hyphen hyphen prefix equals uh, xorg. Underscore prefix. Ooh, very nice, very nice. Hyphen hyphen build type equals release backslash enter hyphen D platform platforms equals X eleven hive comma Wayland backslash enter hyphen D gallium hyphen drivers equals Auto backslash enter hyphen D val grind equals disabled backslash enter hyphen D lib U N W I N D equals disabled 
slash slash enter dot dot and and ninja Always fucking something. Runtime dependency VDPAU found no. Program GLS Lang validator not found. GLS language validator not found, not executable. Full look. <laughs> Lib U N W I N D and it equals Oh, I didn't include the Vulcan. I didn't include Vulcan. So it goes Gallium Vulcan Valgrind. Neither a subproject directory nor llvm.rap file was found. <laughs> LLVM config. No, need it. Runtime LLVM found. No. <laughs> Oh, it's another one of these. Recommended. Another one of these fucking recommended bastards. Does it need anything else? It just needs CMAC. CMAC. We've already got Dioc. Uh, right. Come on. Yeah, LLVM. It's not one of these. Recommended. LLVM. Fuckers. W get HTTPS com slash slash github dot com slash LLVM slash LL. Yeah, I know. LLVM project releases. Download LLVM org sixteen point zero point five slash LLVM slash dash sixteen point zero point five dot source dot tar dot xz. Okay. It's recommended just like it's recommended to breathe. Funny you should say that. My lungs don't do that. <laughs> they don't breathe air, they just breathe nitrogen. Okay. Additional downloads. CMAC modules for LLVM and third party uh, third party dependencies for LLVM. I think I'm going to get both of them. And there's also a recommended download for Clang. As well as an optional download for comp <laughs> optional. Mm. Right. Ta W get https colon slash slash A N D U I N dot Linux from scratch dot org slash B L F B L F S slash L L V M slash L L V M C make dot S R C dot Ta dot X Z 
LFS, LLVM, LLVM, third party, src.tar.xz. Would you? What do you mean? BLFS, LLVM, 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 third party source. Third party dot SRC. No, that's. BLFS slash LLVM slash LLVM hyphen third and party dot SRC dot tar dot XZ. Tell me, yeah, I know, that's the noise, that's, it's gonna fucking hear. Tell me you get HTTPS colon slash slash github.com slash LLVM slash LLVM project slash releases slash download slash LLVM org dash 16.0.5 slash clang dash 16 Point zero point five dot SRC dot tar dot XZ. Good. Optional patching enabled by default for Clang. I'm going to probably get the Clang patch as well. W get HTTPS colon slash slash. Well, then, uh, we've got linux from scratch.org slash patches slash blfs slash 12.0 slash clang dash fuck you 16 clang dash 16.0.5 hyphen Enable underscore default underscore SSP dash one dot patch. Fucking weird name for a patch. Compiler RT. W get HTTPS colon colon slash slash github dot com slash LLVM slash LLVM project slash releases slash download slash llvm org dash one six dot zero dot five slash compiler hyphen rt hyphen one six point zero point five dot src dot tar dot xz installation of llvm two additional tarballs source and third party needed are needed oh so why do you say Recommended instead of <laughs> tar hyphen XVF LLVM sixteen CD LLVM This is gonna have to be the last one because it's in less than thirteen minutes to go until I call it quits normally. But if I could throw myself out of a goddamn fucking window. Honest up. Thank God, man. Right. Right. Clear. I am not going to fuck around with this. There is no file here called LLVM. Good. GitHub. 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 Add file. Up. Oh, not. No. 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 New file. LLVM. Comet changes. Comet changes. W get HTTP as comment slash slash. 
raw dot user github git hub user content dot com slash on slash test main llvm chmod plus x llvm dot slash llvm Okay, that's good. Right. So it's done that. Install clang into the source tree by running the following commands. Ta. Ta. Hyphen XF. Dot dot slash. Clang. 16.05. Dash source No, 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 no. I downloaded Clang. I downloaded Clang. Tar hyphen XF uh, slash Clang. dot src dot there we go i think c was i think capital c tools and and enter mv tools slash clang six clang 16 point zero point five dot src tools slash clang okay if i've downloaded the compiler rt which i have and i've got a bloody well install it uh tar hyphen xf dot slash compiler rt source right, okay so hyphen c projects and and enter mv projects slash compiler rt dash 16.0.5 src projects slash compiler rt that's done there are many Python scripts in this package which use the user bin environment Python to access system Python, which is on LFS, which uses the following command to fix these scripts. Grip Python RL apostrophe hash apostrophe. No, that's not apostrophe hash exclamation mark dot Python apostrophe pipe. X args said hyphen I apostrophe apostrophe ls slash Python dollar sign slash Python three slash apostrophe What do you mean? E expression number one chart extra action cat. It's literally a grep hyphen RL apostrophe hash. Hash exclamation mark dot apostrophe python no those are not supposed to be that's not supposed to be a fucking asterisk so it's it is literally just no there is supposed to be an asterisk there so rl apostrophe hash Exclamation mark dot apostrophe uh, asterisk python 
apostrophe space pipe space x a r g s space said space hyphen i space apostrophe l s slash python dollar sign python 3 slash okay you're being stupid you're being stupid because that's correct patch hyphen capital n lowercase p 2 space apostrophe d tools slash clang bracket point the arrows dot slash clang 1605 dash enable default ssp on patch okay good down the compile yes which i have so it said apostrophe s slash clang underscore dfsan dfsan slash and space hyphen fno hyphen stack hyphen protector slash apostrophe backslash enter hyphen i projects slash compiler slash uh, compiler hyphen rt slash test slash d f s a n slash o r i g i n underscore u n a l i g n e d unaligned underscore mem trans dot c install llvm by running the following commands github come here llvmi directory build cd build w get https colon slash slash raw dot github user content dot com slash nick matthews dash one slash test slash main slash llvmi cat llvmi okay dh mod plus plus x llv LLV, LLVMI. Dot slash LLVMI. Fuck, I have to, it's cheaper. It's quick, cheaper. Quicker for me to type, to just copy, paste, drag, drop. So much quicker. Okay, now I have to wait for the next 4,000. Now I've got to wait for 4,000 things to be done. Right, okay. Four minutes until I'm supposed to be done, but I get I'm completing LLVM and then calling it. Oh. I swear to god. We've made no progress at all. We haven't even done GTK. Haven't even done GTK. Haven't even done bloody GTK yet. God damn. Oh, bloody hell, man. What in the schnikes is going on? What in the shnikes is going on? I want to rip my teeth out. This is bloody torture. This really is torture, that's right. My god damn, please just let me die. Uh. Oh lord. Pancake Sparkle, you are once again an absolute bloody angel in disguise. You're an angel. Thank you.
Oh god, my head. This flu vaccine at least has just not wiped me off my ass. No, this my flu vaccine absolutely knocked me on the oh, knocked me on my ass. And uh, I'm just still suffering because I've now had a headache that's like three days up two two days old at this point. Hang on. Now is Saturday. I woke up with the headaches Friday morning. Because I got the vaccination on Thursday. Or was it Wednesday? Either way, the morning after I got my flu vaccination, I've just I've just had a constant headache since, and it's several days old at this point, and it's not fun. Yay! <laughs> oh god, this will be fine. Yeah, you've helped no end, Pancake Sparkle. So thank you very much. You are an angel in disguise. This is gonna take an age. We're gonna we're gonna get LLVM done and then call it. Cause we need LLVM for Mace. <laughs> it's another one of those. Recommended. No, trust me. I have been, and it's got nothing to do with that. It really hasn't. It's just the the. Flu vaccine has absolutely knocked me on my ass, and considering I'm also off of my meds as well. Because they were going to make me go blind. Not fun. Yeah, see, the flu, va the um, my medication I was on in my brain was actually going to make me go blind because it was causing me ocular pressure issues and I was told by the doctor when I spoke to him and he's like and I told him hey look um I think I might have had ocular pressure issues he's like well what do you mean I just described to him he's like well things are getting light or things it's been on more one occasion where like things like randomly in my vision or like getting closer and further away even though I wasn't moving and they're getting larger and smaller in size they're just like physically changing shape and size and distance and I was just sat still I was just sat still and then his first response was right you're coming off of that medication yay so I've been off of my meds for a while now and it's not fun because the issue with it's a SSR, SSRI, SSNI even. S it's an SNRI. Serotonin, nor noradrenaline, uh, respirat um, reuptake inhibitor. But the fact it was causing me ocular pressure issues, aka eye pressure, eye hypertension, ocular hypertension is where he described it. Um, could make me go blind. And if the meds I was on were doing it, there's a good chance every other SNRI will do the exact same thing to me. So I'm back to suffering constantly. <laughs> Yay. <sighs> Yay. God damn it. God fucking damn it. It's annoying. It really is. I mean, it's only got another, what? 1,800 left to go? Yay! And the bearing one, this is running with 30 cores. Because this is using, uh, Mason? Ninja? Yes, using Ninja, and I've got my Ninja set to use all 30 cores. So... Yay. It's a good thing I had the uh, idea to set the uh, 
set ninja to use all 30 cores because otherwise i would be in for a long old slog <laughs> would really be in for a long long old slog so thank god for this all right that's a good point what is the cpu doing temperature wise neo it is doing 61 degrees celsius that's not bad that's not bad oh not what i wanted let's have a look at the system on it right quick shall we yeah so it's doing 61 degrees celsius and uh, that's what it looks like god damn that's good cooling That's some pretty damn good cooling, if you ask me. Like all of the cores are practically, all, all bar two cores are practically just pinned against the wall. And this is just going, eh. You will be cold. Enjoy the cold. Thank you. Which is very nice, if you ask me. Although, ooh. What? Why is this just logged me out? Why is this just logged me out? Why is it? Oh. Right. Let's hope this works. I don't know why it logged me out, so I'm hoping. I'm hoping there's nothing wrong with it. I really hope there's nothing wrong with it, because I'm about ready to start bloody crying. We're going to leave it for next time. It's not, it's, it's throwing a hissy at me and uh, my throat's getting dry and then camel's cunt and it's down the storm, so we're going to have to call it. Make sure I have the note written down. Do Mesa here, LLVM. LLVM. I'll be next week's problem. Right. That's next week's problem. Anyway, to those of whom who are currently watching, I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. If you liked the stream, like, dislike, dislike, they both work. Um, notification bell, whilst you're at it, if you're not already subscribed, maybe do consider subscribing. You can become a channel member for as little as uh, three pound a month, or you can help you can help support me and buy me a coffee dot com, where I will thank you in the next video. Anyway, to those of whom who are left watching, I remember when you use Linux, don't panic. Anyway, to those of whom who are left watching, I hope you have a good day, good evening, good night, good whatever it is, wherever you are. Goodbye.